Hi guys. So recently I have been using a new personal AI and it's called Pi and it's been a lot of fun. It's a little bit different to other AIs in that it uh, essentially has a more conversational tone and also has a voice. So you can actually talk like it's a person, which is really odd. Uh, and on top of that, it's also quite um, it's got quite relevant and recent information as opposed to say ChatGPT, where the cutoff is September 2021. I was just asking Pi about what's on in Sydney and it was talking to me all about the Fringe Festival. So it's very relevant. And I decided to take it on a bit of a, well, put it to the test essentially. I decided to go for a walk recently to the Botanic Gardens and thought, hey, imagine if Pi could be a little bit of a personal AI guide that told me a bit about the Sydney uh, Botanic Gardens, but also some of the surrounds, what other sites I could visit and essentially see how it went. And it was pretty amazing. And I'll show you the clip in a second that kind of gives you a bit of an idea of what that experience looks like. But it really got me excited about what the future of cities might be uh, when we can essentially have maybe these AIs that wherever you land in the world, there might be a AI for that specific city that helps you navigate, helps you learn about the city, tells you what's on, and essentially is a really good sort of companion um, whilst traversing the city. And I really think that's exciting. The future of cities, the future of interactions, there's a lot that could happen from here. And so I thought I would share with you my experience. So hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think. Hi. I'm just walking into the Sydney Royal Botanic Gardens. I was wondering if you could tell me some facts about it. Absolutely, I'd be happy to share some information with you. Sydney's Royal Botanic Gardens are a world-renowned garden, covering an area of over 30 hectares. They're home to thousands of plant species, including many that are native to Australia. There are also several historic buildings and monuments within the gardens, as well as a variety of walking paths and picnic areas. It's a great place to spend an afternoon if you're looking for a peaceful and beautiful environment. Now I am in the Royal Botanic Gardens. I was wondering if you could tell me anything else that I might like to look at nearby. I'm glad you asked because there are plenty of other great attractions nearby. You could check out the Sydney Opera House, which is only a short walk away from the gardens. Or you could visit the Museum of Contemporary Art Australia, which is also within walking distance. And if you're feeling up for some shopping, the Queen Victoria building is nearby as well. Lastly, I'd recommend taking a stroll around the historic Rocks neighborhood, which is filled with charming shops and cafes. Is there anything in particular that interests you from this list? Amazing, I'm actually approaching the Sydney Opera House now. Can you tell me some facts about the Sydney Opera House? Certainly. The Sydney Opera House is not only one of the most iconic buildings in Australia, but is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Opera House was designed by the Danish architect Jorn Udsen and construction began in 1959. The building features a distinctive roof that is covered in over a million tiles and the structure is made up of multiple halls and venues. The Sydney Opera House is home to the Sydney Symphony Orchestra and the Australian Ballet and hosts a variety of concerts, plays and other performances throughout the year. It's a truly fascinating building with a rich history. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it could be really interesting to see where these applications go in the future when we've got AIs that we could tap into any city and turn on any language as well and really get an understanding of the city very quickly. And it also perhaps being connected to your geo geolocation so it was able to adjust real time for you. Uh, lots of potential applications in this space. And Pi is just a, just the start, I think. Um, and well, it's early days as well. I think it's still in beta and very excited to see where it goes. It's, it's doing a pretty good job. So yeah, let me know what you think.